it's a rare day when I'm actively choosing to hunt Mississippi Acres in 2024, but sometimes video ideas are as simple as this. I sat down to record this video, happened to scroll through Call of the Wild trophy shots in Discord, and saw a rare raccoon followed by a rare red fox. So to Mississippi we go. We've got a nice loadout of wood grain weapons, and we're going to see if we can find anything good out here. And of course, we've been on the hunt for a gold rare gator for a while, but there's a bunch of stuff realistically. I mentioned those couple of rares. We still have not killed a gold rare raccoon. We've had quite a few rares now. Ironically, none of which have been any of the piebalds. We've had a few albinos. I think we had a melanistic back in the day. And I've still been trying to get a male diamond quail. We have our female diamond. However, there's... What just happened there? That was weird. There's a multi-mount for a male moose and a male quail. And I'm kind of thinking if we ever get a diamond quail, maybe we can luck into a great one moose. And I think I'd actually do that multi-mount. So three quail there. And we are going to be moving into gator territory, but I don't want to spend too much time after them. I feel like we can get bogged down doing that. But we have to at least check it out just in case. And I think the first gator of the hunt is going to be an aggressive mythical. So, of course, we have the 44 lever action. There really is no better weapon for dealing with this particular scenario. Because when they charge directly at you, you can kind of shoot through the entire thing and take it down pretty darn quickly. Also, with a little bit of a different look for it. I kind of like this with the lighter colored barrel. But anyway, just an all variant and a 456 score. But not a bad way to get us going. We're actually kind of getting out of gator territory for a moment. I want to go and check over by this tower. It's one of my favorite spots in the game. Lots of turkeys, rabbits, sometimes raccoons, whitetail, things like that. So we're just going to go pass through there, and then I think if no one is checking the river, we may do that. You know, crazy enough, the only thing I'm seeing here that's even remotely decent is this max estimate level 2 cottontail. So we'll go ahead and attempt to plink that. Third shot, got it. And... The fact that this is currently Whitetail Drink Time or the end of Whitetail Drink Time isn't helping us here, because usually a herd or two will be feeding out in this field, but no turkeys at all is kind of strange. There's a Whitetail running by back there. Just make sure nothing's too special there, but we'll grab our rabbit, and then I think we're doing a little gator hunting up the main river. And of course, we've got a turkey running right in here, just as I said there were none. So we'll just blast that too. I think that's almost exactly where our rabbits land. It's just over here to the left. Little bonus kill, and he looked to be very much a common. 4.15 score. Actually got him in the lung with the second shot. And then our rabbit should be just out here in this clearing. And I think now, other than green winged teal, we have shot all of the class 1 animals on Mississippi. Quail, rabbits, and turkeys in the first couple of minutes here. 1.83. Not terrible for that. So let's go and see what's going on by the water. What I found the most interesting so far down by the river here is that most of these gators either just don't go aggressive or they do and they flee before they actually get to us. So I'm gonna let this one come all the way over here just to see because I'm not sure what actually causes it. They'll stop like that normally and then just turn and run away. There's not been anything really of note so far, a bunch of average sized ones, but since this guy actually charged, might as well take him with that brain and neck shot. And I think over here we already have a level 6. So not going to worry about that. And of course immediately we get another aggressive level 5. And naturally both of those have charged all the way here. Kind of an odd interaction there as he runs into the trees. But we'll take a little bonus one. We're almost as far north as I typically go here on the river. But because we're not exclusively gator hunting anyway, I think we're going to go all the way up and then loop into these fields. So just give us a little more kind of surface area to cover. And who knows, normally I really don't go north of this lodge. Maybe there's more zones up there. Well, that's a little better. Got an aggressive seven this time. And we are just north of that outpost that I mentioned. There's another one, though, too. That one is fleeing just a six. Not going to worry about that. 434 gold for that guy. The only thing to make sure when one runs through there, always to make sure it's not a rare. That does look to be olive to me. But one thing we haven't had is a melanistic gator. I actually don't know how well they'll stand out. I assume it'll be pretty obvious, but 
hard to say when that's the one rarity we've never actually encountered. That's a big quail there. Gonna get a chance to spot everything, but up to 241 technically gives that a tiny chance of being a diamond level 2. I'm actually not 100% sure that can happen, but we are going to attempt to find out. It's gonna be that one right there. And because we are pretty well away from other hunting pressure we've caused, we at least can try to get maybe these couple that we haven't spotted. And we'll see what we get out of those three. This was the big one. Close, 225. We need 238 for diamonds, so I guess that would have been a max weight estimate one. This would be, as far as common plumage types, this would be my preference. This red-brown looks really, really nice on the males. I don't know, I was going to say it's probably not super likely we have another big one in here, but frankly, with stubble quail, a lot of times if I find one big one, there are several. That's a 146 scoring female, and then a 147 scoring female, so at least four ones that we spotted, by far we got the biggest one. That is a rare green wing teal for sure. I think it's albino, and they're alerted because we were running over here. We might have him in shotgun range, so I think they're going to go and land. That's albino, that's insane. I, because they're circling, I feel okay not taking this shot yet, because I'd rather just get him off the water. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Decent estimate up to 419. Just need to watch, make sure they don't get too alerted or anything, because that's in shotgun range, but boy, we missed that. They're so fast, I don't love our odds. So, just gonna keep on watching. I think they are about to plop down in the water. And let's go ahead and get the 22 and get ready, because I do think that one just landed super close to us. We got the item glitch, of course. Couldn't get the 22 out. Now we gotta try to get them out of the air. So we got a zone, which is good. I wish we had tried the shotgun at this point, but what do you do? Might have to come back here. I don't know what gold is for them. I think it might be 400 or thereabouts. Just gonna try to fling some lead that direction just in case. Man, that is crazy. One duck landed too close and we got the glitch where we had to double back, try to unequip everything and then grab the 22. That sucks. But uh, let's see, they feed here only till seven. Don't love that. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead go through this area and look for gators and they may come back through anyway and if we got to come over here with decoys and everything we'll do that i just can't believe we, we just should have gone with the shotgun played that too conservative for sure so not much for gators anywhere along here at least nothing really all that interesting and i did go ahead and grab the decoys we're gonna go ahead and set up down here and just see if maybe that albino comes back so in theory, they're going to want to land from that direction. So I think we actually need to get around here. But this is their feed zone. And what I did do was kind of go north the direction they fled in. And see if I could spot them somewhere around there. I didn't see them anywhere. So hopefully they are somewhere still around. That's a flock of teal, but I think that's a bigger flock anyway. We do have these guys coming into land at the same zone. Not the same flock though. I am curious, and while we're here, we might as well find out what the actual gold requirement is. I think we'll be... Okay, those are all hens, but it'll still tell us. Not sure how we missed that the first time, but I don't know. Maybe we set up decoys and actually don't worry about the blind? Because frankly, I'm happy to shoot it off the water. I think we'll go with that approach at least for now. So we did get a tiny flock of teal to come in. Not the right ones. Let's take a quick look here. Gold is 420. He was a max of 419. So we do at least know. No potential gold albino. But we still really want to get him. Never had an albino one. We did get a piebald on New England Mountains. But if we just kind of back off here a little bit. Maybe just so we're actually in cover. Hopefully that albino comes in and we can, this time, not have to try to shoot him through an item glitch. Was that? Wait a minute. That looked like something too. Didn't get him with the 22. That wasn't it though. That's up to 409? I swear that's also a rare. And what the heck are the odds that the flock would take off again early? I saw him for just a second and they were out of there. That's not albino. 
but it's leucistic or something like that. Okay, no point making this worse. Let's get back in cover. And now we have two rare deal to worry about. I still can't tell what that is, but that is the second one that we saw. I'm so tempted to just blast them now, but I think we're in a better spot here. We're actually not fully hidden. Because of where they're gonna wanna land due to the wind, we should be far enough away that they don't do that same deal of trying to take off immediately. Sounds like another flock too, which would be our luck that both would show up at the same time or something. I'm just gonna have the shotgun ready in case anything happens. But I think they are about to land. So we gotta relocate that one up to 409. That's gonna be the easiest thing to do, I think, unless we can just see them, which actually we can. I don't like how close that one got. Did we get him? I think we did. So, one down, one to go, and I see that little highlight there. So we did, in fact, get him. What is this? Is this just a piebald? Because I'm wondering if there's two different piebald variants. That is a piebald. Definitely not. The same as the other one we have. You know what? The fact that he scores 409 makes me think our albino is one shy of gold, which is going to be a little bit painful should we actually be able to get him. What a nice looking bird though. Bizarre too that both of those showed up in this same spot. So the albino went over there. Why don't we just take these decoys down and at least move to the northern end of this area? We know this is the feed zone where we initially spotted the albino, but that zone time's over. I kind of get the feeling they are spending their time somewhere else. That's him there, okay. As long as this flock cooperates, they should land directly towards us, and whenever he comes back around, we're just gonna stay ready with the shotgun. We got it loaded, we're zero for 25, and we'll make a decision as to what to do whenever he tries to land. This has been such a giant pain, but the good news is this time, he should actually try to land here instead of just flying right past us. Okay, I think the next circle around they're gonna want to try to come down here, and ideally, honestly, he actually hits the ground, and we can just try to pop him there. Still maybe circling one more time? They should want to land from kind of off that direction, which maybe that's what they're going to do here. Oh, I just heard one land. Nothing taken off yet, so I think we're okay. That's going to be him coming into land. Where is he going to land at? Should be in range. Oh, no way. Missed him on that. Just got him on the follow-up. What the heck? This has been one of the worst single bird found in a flock try to go find it hunts I have ever had. This is the weirdest spot. So let's claim him and get all that out of the way first. There's the blood. Where did he end up at? Is he not dead right there? He could have... It was a long shot. Oh, boy. Uh... Okay. I swear he dropped immediately. Oh, there he is. Okay, he tried to float over here. All is well. I was about to have to go all the way back to a lodge and get a retriever. 419.51. Missed out on a gold albino by literally less than 0.5. Hit him at 54 meters in the wing. Got a little too cute there trying to get him out of the air, but frankly, I was so afraid something dumb was going to happen again as soon as he hit the ground. But we finally got him. It took so long we killed a piebald in the process. So basically, I ended up coming all the way back here because they kept flying in this direction, and I found, I think it's this red zone here for green winged teal. I was pretty sure he was in it, but I could never actually spot him. So, I set this whole thing up, never saw him, Fast traveled to that lodge, ran all the way back down here. And finally, for whatever reason, that got him in the air. I, there was this one flock that was about the right size that kept on flying by, but nothing could be spotted. They'll do that kind of like when they're in a migrating mode, I guess you could call it. And I was convinced it was his flock, and I thought maybe fast traveling away could actually solve it. And I guess it did. Holy... I, I don't even know what to do. We've been chasing birds for like at least an hour, probably more. You know, I think 
If we can make a shot on this black bear, actually, he's going to slow down for us. He may end up being our last kill. It's about 300-ish meters. Try to hit him with a follow-up. That shot's not going to help us at all. But I think we got him anyway with the 44. I'm not going to lie. That whole duck situation was mentally exhausting. You're just trying to figure out where they were. Finding a second rare, that one getting away, and then having to set up and, and deal with all that. We've ended up being here for about two and a half hours. The majority of it was duck hunting instead of gator hunting. But in the end, two more rares and two pretty cool ones that we've never had. But one final harvest here on Mississippi Acres today ends up being a silver black bear. Actually, we hit it the second time. He didn't even react, but got the liver. And that was just enough to get us that silver medal. So let's go back to the lodge and find a place for our two new ducks. So this, by the way, was our other piebald gleaming teal from New England. You can see completely different than the one that we got today, which I think is quite nice. Got a random diamond mallard up there, I think because there's two different variations of piebald. We'll put them side by side. I definitely like the one we got today a whole lot better, though. Maybe we'll have them kind of swooping opposite directions. Then for our albino, maybe we take down the leucistic widgeon that we had and actually put the albino there instead. I think it's a much more prominent spot. That really shows, too, the difference in size between a mallard and a green winged teal. Like I said, when we initially didn't shoot him with a shotgun, and I, I so wish we did, because I think we could have gotten him. They're so small, they're so fast. It can be a problem to get him with the 22, and I don't know how many times we missed those shots with it, but pretty darn cool. Adding a couple of new rare birds to this second trophy lodge, which I very much expect to be kind of just an extension of our main lodge sometime later this year with a new map release and therefore new species. But I can't believe that. That... To find a piebald while looking for the albino, to end up getting them both after all the stress and the struggles of trying to get them, worked out pretty darn good in the end. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.